I am Apostle Jimmy Jumra, founder of Jesus Delivery International Ministry and JDI Networks. This morning is our morning service for Jesus Delivery International Ministry, and I'm so glad you are here to join us. Our service starts each Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. So, welcome to our January the 26th, 2020 message. On today's message, we will be talking about our uh, ending up our prophetic series. And today's message is the prophetic within your ministry. Now, do you listen and obey the Lord? Some people listen, but do they obey? When God speaks to you, do you listen or do you complain? I want you to listen to the questions that I'm giving you and ponder over it. In 2018, God told me to create the five-fold videos and the prophetic videos, uh, the prophetic Bible study videos. These were not going, things in my life were not going too well the way I can see it, the way my eyes saw in my life. It wasn't going too well. So why would he want me to produce these videos? But God knew my future. In Jeremiah 29, 11, the King James Version, it states, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Also, God know your thoughts too. So, I'm going to go back to the questions I just asked. Do you listen and obey the Lord? When God speaks to you, do you listen or complain? God knows your future, just like he knew mine back in 2018. Back to the videos in 2018. I was working long hours and, go, and doing what thus said the Lord. It took me 10 months to finish both the five, um, the five videos end up being seven videos on the fivefold, and for the prophetic Bible study videos, it ended up being ten videos. Uh, it was the gifts of the Spirit, which is nine, and then it was one video. It talked about who the gift giver is. That was the beginning of the video. So, I did all of this, and... Um, I was just working a lot of hours, 10, 12 hours a day. I was really exhausted. I was not in the greatest health at that time uh, because of the working and all the things that were going on in my body. But I heard the Lord say to do this. So I did it no matter what. Because every time I felt ill or whatever, I said, the Lord would take care of me. By his stripes, I am healed. I kept saying that. To continue on doing what he told me to do and doing what I had to do. He knew the future of the work that he wanted me to do. It was for an appointed time. And at that time, I was with uh, my streaming videos. It's a live streaming video network. And I was with them. And then I put all the videos there um, and kept going and doing what does said the Lord and praying that it go out to where it needed to go out to. Because I wasn't doing this for myself. I was doing this for the Lord. 
all of a sudden, everything crashed. The whole live stream and video, the whole thing just crashed. Um, I woke up one day, the Holy Spirit told me to cut it on, and I went on, and it was nothing there. So I called the owner of the network, and he said everything had went down, and he apologized, and he's such a wonderful man of God. Uh, it was things that were going on in his world, because I remember he asked me to pray, and I kept praying for him, because, you know, as I pray for him, I'm praying for my ministry and everybody else that's con that was connected with that live stream. It's a group of ministries all over the, the U.S., and it may be some in other countries, I'm not quite sure, but we were all together for a vision that God has given to us, and he had the 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 vehicle where we can put our videos in to go out to the different parts of the world. So all of a sudden, everything crashed. I didn't know what was going on. I know in my life, everything was going crazy. In his life, everything was going crazy. But he kept going. Um, but God knew our future. This is the prophetic, the future of. When God gave me the vision of putting those videos together and to put it out there, this was the future of my ministry that he had entrusted me in to do. I put the videos out there and it connected with the right people. So when... When the stream crashed, he said, I was already sending them to YouTube anyway. So he told me to take them to just start video, doing live streams with YouTube. So I kept going. No matter what, I kept going. No matter what, you keep going. Listen and obey God. Because God had told me to start doing that. Before everything crashed. Because he knew what was going on. In that visionary life. And he knew what was going on. In everybody else's life. So that's why I said. Listen and obey the Lord. Do you do that? If you have a relationship with God. You will hear. And you must do. If it don't, don't make sense. It doesn't matter. It will in the future. That is the prophetic of your ministry. The future of your ministry. God is speaking to you. So you can do what he wants you to do. Right now. In the present. For your future. What is God asking you to do? What excuses are you giving him? What excuses are you giving the Lord? He's telling you to do something. And this is in the prophetic. This is a future thing that God is speaking in your spirit. Not man, but God. In Jeremiah 11, it says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. So God knows what he's saying when he said, it. just do it. Do you think you know more than he does? Think about that. If you're not doing what thus said the Lord, you think you're smarter than him. You think you know more than he do. But you don't because he created you. And he know that you're going to do it. You're going to be obedient. If you're not, you will be chastised. You will go through some stuff worse than what you would have just to get what you need to get. God will chastise you because he's giving you this vision. He's giving you these thoughts. He's giving you your future. 
That's all he wants you to do is obey and look at what is going to come out of it. God knows you better than you know yourself. He created you using your mother and your father to get you here for his glory and for his purpose. Now think about that. He used two other people to get you here for you to do what he needs you to do in the earth realm. This is the prophetic within your ministry. Now, starting January of 2020, and God told me this back in December, I started this on the second. I started the Daniel fast. And in Daniel 10, it states, I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth. Neither did I anoint myself and and um, ate till oh, and all till three whole weeks were fulfilled. I'm reading my writing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me read Daniel uh, ten three again for you. It says, I ate no pleasant food, no, pre no pleasant bread, neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth, neither did I anoint myself at all till three whole weeks were fulfilled. <laughs> now, I started this Daniel fast on the 2nd of January, and I ended it on the 22nd of January. And in the midst of that, I ate no bread. I ate no sugary things. I uh, I had no dairy products. Um, I only ate vegetables. And the vegetables had to come from the ground of the tree. And fruits. Uh, they had to come from the, the tree. Um, and I had peanuts. But basically, I went and I drank water. Um, I did that for three weeks. And in the midst of that, God showed me what foods I should take out of my diet completely. Because the way I felt after taking those foods out. He also, um, I also read Isaiah 53, 6. I read the whole Isaiah 58, I'm sorry. 58 verse, but this particular one was the one that really worked in my life. And that's Isaiah 58, 6. Is, and it, start, it says, Is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free? And that ye break every yoke. So yokes were broken within those 21 days. My heavy burdens have been lifted. The bands of wickedness have been stripped. And this is the fast that God told me to go on. I wanted to do something different. But this is the fast that God put me on. Because last year I tried to do this same fast. It didn't work. I almost fainted. Uh, I just couldn't do it. And the people that I was doing the fast with, they were making it up as they went. They didn't do exactly what Daniel was stating to do. They did it the way they wanted to do. They added meat, which is the flesh. I had no meat in mind. I don't eat meat anyway. The only meat I eat is fish. I even cut that out. But they didn't do it that way, and so I, it didn't last. And that wasn't the fast that God told me to go on. But this year, it was the fast that God told me to go on because it lasted the whole time. The second day was the hardest, 
and it was another day in between, almost at the end. It got really hard because it was a lot of warfare and battling that was going on. And that was breaking the band of wickedness that had been trying to stop and block me for what God had for my future. Uh, the, the heavy burdens, they were lifted. And the oppressed, the, the oppressed, the depression that was in me, when it, it was it's gone i'm free from that so i stuck with this particular verse and the whole verse i read that within the 21 day fast so this was the prophetic for 2020 within my ministry within my health and within my life the 21 day fast and the things that god did within that fast and how the ministry is growing today. What is God speaking to you today? Is he telling you to go on that fast? Is he telling you something else? Be obedient to the spirit to the spirit of the living God and let him speak to you for you and your ministry. Listen and obey no matter what you think. Because God knows your future. <laughs> Let's pray. Father God, I come to you in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. I thank you for this last prophetic uh, series. And how the prophetic is working within Jesus Deliver International Ministry into my life and into the visions that you have given me for your glory and for your purpose for your people i ask you to help the people that are watching this video to help them to listen with their spiritual ears as well as their natural ears and to obey with their spiritual being and with their natural being. I, Holy Spirit, I ask you to lead and guide. Rise up within the ones that are connected to you. Rise up and let them see with their spiritual eyes, with their spiritual ears, with their spiritual senses. Let them see what you are trying to get them to do for their future in their present. They have to work today for the future of others. It's not even about them. It's about the glory of the Lord and his purpose for their lives. Let the people that watch this video work for the Lord, not for man. Because as you please the Lord, man will follow you. They will be pleased because they want to do what you are doing. They want to be like you. They want to please God and not each other. Each other, they will be pleased when God is pleased because God will show your gifts to men. Thank you, Lord, for what you are doing in this ministry to help it grow. Holy Spirit, continue on leading this ministry to greater grace and higher heights for the Lord for his glory, and for his purpose. I thank you for moving with the prophetic within this ministry. In Jesus' most mighty name, amen to the Father, amen to the Son, and amen to the Holy Ghost. I tell you, I am so excited within this 20 day. 21 day fast of January 2020 God opened up new doors we are back on Roku TV 
that's R-O-K-U. And that is on uh, live stream like Hulu, uh, uh, Netflix, uh, all those other live streaming. Here in Nashville, Tennessee, a lot of the TVs, and I think it's all over the U.S., the new flat screen TVs, they have Roku built in it. You can go to the channel store and pull up JDI Networks. That's JDI slash Networks, N-E-T-W-O-R-K-S, Networks. We pull us up, and it's a free channel. Uh, that is in the U.S. only. And for international, we are on mystreamingvideo.net. We have Jesus Delivery International channel. We have JDI Networks channel. And we have JDI School of Ministry channel. This is in the category of either non-denominational church or community organization. So those are the categories in which we fall under. We are promoting others to join our network, and I will have more to come on that. So I thank you for watching the last video of 2020, January of 2020, the prophetic series. And I pray that God has blessed you tremendously with these prophetic messages. This is Apostle Jimmy Jumra with Jesus Delivery International Ministry and JDI Networks. God bless you.